Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Mitch Rap Plays. Um, Fallout New Vegas 3. What is this? It's a gecko. Geckos are disgusting. Uh, Fallout New Vegas Episode 4. Sorry. Um, did we... What do we get going on here? This is... I haven't played here in a while, so let's go to quests. They went it that way. In inquire about your delivery assignment with the Mojave Pr Express and Prim. Find the men who killed you. Let's do this. You know? Um, who's this guy? Just like uh, Barton Thorne? Hello? Can you help me? I, I can help a lot of people. Um, you, sir, look a little bit like that dude from Dawson's Creek. What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Well, I don't think she's your girl anymore then, dude, because I'm going to take her for my own. Eh, she, I mean, I'm not going to take her. Just, she might be interested in me. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. I mean... Uh, should so... Probably... Data? I kind of... Uh, I don't know. I part of me. They went it that way. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Nope. It's not. It's not even. It's. It's not even. Up the. The broken ra- oh, right there. That's a broken radio tower. I feel like we gotta go up this way. Our baseball hat is sick as fuck. Um, what do we got? Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Rebuild, finished, travel onward. Yeah, no, I'm good, man. I'm fucking awesome. And y'all are fucked. condition of this <laughs> pistol is trashed here. I have no ammo for that. Ooh, the machete though, dude. Alright. So, Mr. Gecko Man. Mr. Gecko Man. You fucked, sir! <laughs> I crippled his fucking foreleg, man. Alright. Did, did he say the left or the right? I forget what he said. Probably to the right. This seems to be the path. I don't really see a path that way. Let's go right. Can we go up this way? This seems steep. Oh, Mr. Gecko Man! Yeah. You got wrecked too, sir, so I... sucks so bad when you're a gecko and you just get straight wrecked. Wrecked him? <laughs> Damn near killed him. Um, dude, the machete is pretty badass. I guess. You know, if I was to... I mean, if I was... If I was like, hey, like, do I want a rusty machete or a pen? I would. I think I'd probably say a rusty machete. I definitely say a rusty machete. Did the geckos eat the shit out of that dude's chick? This dude's gotta go to hell. Uh this doesn't look good for your for your lady friend. This doesn't look good for anybody's lady friend, dude. Your health is low. You may want to use a stim pack or find some water to drink. I'm going to open this, actually. Pick that up. Oh, fuck off, bear traps. All right. Fine. In order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, or use a stim pack to heal yourself. In hardcore mode, you may only heal crippled limbs by using doctor's bags or by visiting a doctor for medical care. Stim packs can be used for general healing, which will also slightly heal crippling damage, 
or they can be applied directly to a limb to heal crippling damage. To heal a crippled limb directly using a stim pack, yeah, 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 I got that. In hardcore mode, you may only heal crippled limbs, but yeah, you said that at the top. All right, so stats and stim pack. Limbs, let's use a stim pack there. Probably a stim pack there. Ah, fuck. Now let's uh, just use one more stim pack. We should be decent here. Johnny, Johnny here is uh, well. He's he's a badass. Reading glasses, dude. Oh yeah, let's take them. Take the caps. Might as well take the merc outfit. Got some cards. Four ace of clubs. So confused about what's going on right now. Um, oh shit! Ten millimeter pistol is is pretty good. We a hundred and one ten millimeter rounds. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, we'll take all that shit. Like for sure. Disarm the bear trap. Did it. Got some money. Open the refrigerator. Atomic cocktail. Energy resist, fire resist. This seems like all legit. Grilled mantis. Plus one rads. Yeah, that's good. Squirrel stew. Yeah, it's fine. Squirrel on a stick. All right. All right, so we leveled up. Let's go. Let's go lock pick to 35. Science to 30. Speech to 50. 47? Nah, let's go. Lock pick back down to 30. Speech to... Let's go to 50 for speech. That seems good. Alright. And then let's use some aid. I kind of forgot to start our... Start our timer here. Um, items. Aid. Atomic cocktail, no. Bleak, no. Boxing, no, no. Nah, no. Nah. Cram. Hmm, no. Dirty water, no, no, no. Grilled mantis actually seems good. Plus one rad per second. Where's our, ch where's that chick that he's talking about, man? Chicks, man. Glass pitcher, no, no. Footlocker's empty. Ammunition box, we already did. Camera. Sorry, I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you. Oh, you sorry mother fuck. You like that? Yeah, do you fucking like it, Barton? You fuck. Oh, he's such a dick face. Yeah, I'll take the bobby pin and all this shit. Your fucking wasteland doctor fatigues and the nine millimeter pistol, yeah. And guess what we're gonna fucking do now? We're gonna repair some shit. Repair that. Can't repair. We can maintain. That seems good. Seems real good. Sweet. Um, all right. Well, you're a dipshit, motherfucker. Oh my god, that makes me so angry. Aren't you angry? You don't look angry. Oh, mm! that's what he saw. That is what he saw. I don't really have interest in the Brock flower. I feel like I need to like run, but I can't because in apparently in Fallout you don't you don't run, which is fine.
Excuse me? I would... Guess who's getting wrecked? You, sir. Uh, you're gonna jump your fucking face at me? No, you're gonna get wrecked too. Mm! God, it feels good. I'm gonna level up to level four already. Damn near. I'll break this gecko's face. Oh shit, there's three of them. Alright. I bet if we use this, though. Oh, dude! That works so good! Ha ha ha, 18. That was actually quite sweet. Let's get our machete back out. Sorry, dude. I think your sister? Yeah, she's fucking dead. Unfortunately for you. Prim is to the Ringo? What is that thing? Is it some sort of fox man? Oh, no, that's like a moth thing. Oh, yeah, you guys should fight each other. And then see what happens. Young Gecko Hunter. Hmm. And a Rad Roach. Yep. None of that went well for anybody. This is creepy as fuck. What is this place up here? White horse nettle? Nah, not really interested. Oh, shit! Let's, uh, save. And then, uh, let's... Who? What the... Get the fuck away from me, you dick! Yeah, I had enough. Did you have enough of my grenade launcher to your fucking face? Probably not, huh? What is Hydra? Restore limb condition. I like that. Stim pack. And a switchblade. It's decent. Take the cases, because there's no reason not to. You have discovered several locations. You can fast travel to discovered locations using your world map and your Pip Boy. Yes, I'm aware. Thank hey, you. Where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Oh, is it? Uh, what's going on in Prim? Convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Well, maybe what's you should. More, there are two tribes of raiders <laughs> causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. You know what you'd be safer doing? Taking off those awful tinfoil glasses, motherfucker. Um, shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Oh, okay. We're in no shape to yeah. Because typically... We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Dude, I got two hands. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay there, four eyes, you fucking prick. So, where do we... This must be the overpass. This is the west. So we stay over here, maybe? Yeah, that probably makes sense. Huh. Empty soda bottle. Not of a whole lot of interest. We can sleep for an hour. Actually, let's sleep for... 
five hours? So it's more light out, maybe? Seems legitimate. And then we'll check out up here. Uh, can we fall down there? No. Nope. All right. We should check out our map, though. Let's see. Over there. Canyon wreckage. Haven't discovered it yet. We could go check it out. Prim. Huh. I don't really want to get shot. What do you got to say, dude? It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Oh, dude, fuck off! Alright, so... Maybe we watch out for mines, I guess? Seems like it's just a horrible fucking idea. I do love that we have a lot of ammo for this bitch, though. Hmm. The Lucky Casino. Whoa, dude! Oh, this is not fucking good. Forty four, let's go. Select, select. Oh, yeah, get some, bitch. Hmm. You're an escaped convict. Cleaver, not interested. Hannah Sunset, saspy. Probably should heal. Medics? Yeah, we should take that. Varmint rifle, sure. Alright, so let's. Um... Repair. in pretty good shape. Aid. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Where you at? Go to this casino, maybe. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Dude, your face has gone to hell, man. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Fair enough. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Uh, I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over. 
But we couldn't turn down the caps. Uh, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Huh. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Huh. So they hired somebody else, and he canceled to do my job. And then I took it? But why did he cancel? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, but Courier 6 carried the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Sounds... who the fuck is this guy? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Huh. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Hmm. No. God damn it, I can't have that m music in the background. Some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit, and a some thugs that they passed this way. Well, now that you went we have to turn the fucking music down. Audio. Mentioned it a few nights back, one of the towny. That, but that's not changing it. It's still loud. Audio. Effects. No, we're going to turn the radio off. Maybe just there. Effects are fine. He was out scavenging for supplies. The first episode the already got third party some of them great content outfits. matched. They was talking about a chip. Uh, one of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Who the they fuck is town, Deputy he Beagle? Was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He wasn't he my pretty boy friend. Going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. No, except for the fucking anesthetician. Uh, where can I get information on the man that shot me? I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. What can I do to help Prim? Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Perfect. We always want to check that out. Tennis Spades Gamora. Huh. That's interesting that he has that. Like, we could use that to... I'm gonna buy those for sure because I think like maybe we can use that to gamble and like just win all the fucking time I don't know eight of hearts tops I'm gonna buy that shit um five five six some other stuff it's basically got Get the 357 magnums. What do we what do we got to sell? Weapons. I want to sell the 9 mil. Single shotgun we can probably sell because we've got the sturdy caravan shotgun and it doesn't actually. We'll sell the splitch blade in the varmint rifle. Um, the apparel will sell the leather armor, the leather armor, lightweight metal armor. Actually, no, we won't sell that stuff yet. Absinthe. It's got 605 caps. Bleak Venom. Cram. Dirty Water. Doctor's Bag is legit. Healing Powder. Hydra. I think we're probably no. Don't cancel the transaction. Accept it. Um, Give me a right. shot if you need anything else. 
A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. On this subject. I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was sure, supposed to I'll make. I'll tell you what I know. <coughs> I didn't get to hear well, this. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the times... He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. Okay. All right. See you later, bro. Getting yourself shot. I'll try not to, bud. Bud... Hey there. Rather be left alone in my misery, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Dream Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay. And who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Um, maybe another time. Have it your way, partner. Maybe work up your curiosity by having a look at thrilling exhibits, like the genuine death car and Vance's machine gun. Um, all right. After yeah, trails, you're, partner. It, mainly your voice is just annoying as fuck, so... Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Well, Ruby, uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My Jeez. husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. Do you now? Uh, and what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. It's not as appetizing as that blonde mustache you have. Flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you. <laughs> okay. Um, goodbye. See? You're freaky as fuck. Prim resident. Hi. Yeah, howdy. Howdy. Examine case. Uh, the 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case left to, of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrap box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of the bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. It's not there, motherfucker. You guys are idiots. Here's the bar. Hey there. And the prim resident. Why has everybody got their guns out? It's a little freaky. And nobody's, like, dealing at this casino? Like, maybe... Combat knife. We could steal that shit. Um... Nuka Cola? I, I guess we probably don't want to open the vending machine. That uh, garbage can sort of reminded me. Howdy. Of um. Bioshock, Infinite, actually. Like you can search the garbage cans and there's some cool shit in them. Door to the Bison Steve Hotel. All right, let's check this shit out. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, convict. Uh, let's go back here. Nope, back, and then target that, that. Jesus, that's is necessary. Dude, can you just fucking kill him? Got him. These guys are dicks, man. Alright, 
100 NCR, some cases. What the hell's rebound? Regenerate AP. Seems decent. And a varmint rifle. Storm chaser hat? <laughs> Probably not, but it looks kind of cool. Let's check out over here what's in the term. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password in, in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, <coughs> the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force the security reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. Sweet. That's fine. Let's uh, check it out. So, let's go daggers. Three of seven correct. Jungles. Three of seven. Harness. Two of seven correct. Ooh, three of seven. Cancers. Four of seven correct. We gotta back out. Let's go back in. I am the world's worst. Okay, all right. Great. Um, joining, one of seven. Locking, one of seven. Command, one of seven. All right, we have to back up again. We're going to get this. Ah, uh, wasting. Four of seven. So it's probably something with a T-I-N-G, melting. Three of seven. Maybe resting? No, that would have more. Despair. That's not right. I-O-T-I-S-T. -I Two of seven. Fuck! I feel, like, I feel like I know what the hell's going on, but I'm losing my GD mind here. Alright. Let's go with... Capture. One of seven. Respect. One of seven. Testing. Five of seven is right in testing. E. Shit. We better back out. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. This should not be that hard. Station. Two of seven in station. Looting has three of seven, right? Wasting is three of seven, right? Dude, this is fucking ridiculous. This is supposed to be easy, and I can't fucking get it. This is like, why is this shit so hard? This should not be that hard. Ceramic. Let's go to fearing. Three of seven. Leading. 
Nope. That won't be it. Lending won't be it. Locking could be it. Three of seven. Hissing. Oh, finally. Jesus, I'm the greatest of all time. Disengage lock. There better be something awesome in here or I'm going to be pissed. Get a lockpick skill of 50? I mean, that seems like total bullshit, right? Like one on a stick, fine. Maze. Okay, Sunset Sarsaparilla, fine. Oh, Nuka-Cola. We should probably take that. And Miller Meter Pistol. Medics, Medics, Medics. Radex. Some bottle caps. Some creepy fucking skeleton I didn't see before, which is a little bit weird that I didn't see it. Um, we do need some lockpick skill. Blood pack, no. Bubble gum. No thanks. Mentats, sure. First aid box, always empty syringe and some stim packs. Nothing else in here. I'm a little surprised. That uh, that whole like fucking lock picking bullshit took way too long. Do we have any aid? Can we repair any of our armor? No. Aid. Sneak plus 100. We're looking for lockpick to go up. Lockpick plus 10. But I don't think our lockpick, it won't be high enough. So it doesn't matter. Might as well move on. And remember that we need to maybe come back. Floor safe. Need 75 lockpick skill. <laughs> Pack of cigarettes. It's, it's decent, like, uh... decent uh, money, but I don't think so. So that's where we came from, and this is where we're headed. Got him. Deputy Beagle, don't you fucking hit that bitch. Let's get our shit going here again. Uh, let's maybe save. Oh, your head is fucked, sir. My God, what a dick. Drainer, drained flamer fuel tank, flamer fuel incinerator. Seems decent. Um, cowboy hat, sure, why not? Come on. Yeah, run from me, motherfucker. Help me out. 
You guys are all fucked. Oh, you're gonna throw some dynamite at me? Is that shit gonna explode? Because that would suck. Uh, NCR money. Some 9mm rounds. Some dynamite. Some dynamite. Some more NCR money. Deputy, we'll talk in a minute. I've got some... That is fucked up. Sleep in the bed for an hour. Just to replenish our health and shit. It's a Brahmin. On a spit. Goggles, helmet, things fucking no. Zero interest. Crunchy mutt fruit? Probably not. No. Yeah, maybe I'll take that. And we'll take the stim pack for sure. And then we'll do a little reconnaissance here. So let's I feel like atomic cocktail seems pretty good. And then let's go to the items. Repair all that shit. Okay. Repair those. All right. Let's talk to our bro here. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. Uh, you must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. <coughs> I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Or you could share it with me, you can tell me, or you can rot in here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Okay. It would be so very delightful. How do you uh, end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for maybe you should have been for the awake right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Um. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Mm, if you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. I, di I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it. You lead the way. Yeah, so maybe you don't be a dipshit. There's, like, nobody else here. I'm pretty sure I killed everybody already, so, like, you're probably fine. Like, we're not going to actually have to dominate anybody else. Did I just hear a fucking mine? Makes me a little nervous.
Should really call it an episode here, but I think... Oh, you fucking cocksuck. Finally. Jesus. Let's take the 9 mil. Some casings. Some money. Uh, Sunset Saspi. Maybe the dynamite. Probably should just take the 9 millimeter here. Stay hidden. Very easy lock to pick. Or we'll just pick it like that. That was super easy. Paperweight pre-war money. Nothing in the first. Oh, we got the uh, level up. Let's go, um... Let's go science. What does survival do for us? I think we'll go science, maybe some guns. We'll take speech up to 55. And um, maybe a lock pick up to 33. And then we get to uh, take in one of these. This is awesome. And then we're going to end it after this for sure. Intense training. With the intense training perk, you can put a sink. No. Confirm Bachelor, no. Lady Killer, no. Rapid Reload. Um, makes all your weapon reloads 25% faster than normal. That's decent. Swift Learner. With each rank of the Swift Learner perk, you get an additional 10% experience points whenever you, whenever experience points are earned. We're going to take that again. Um, actually, we're going to take Educated. Yeah, we'll take Educated. Open the toolbox. Nothing, nothing. Doctor's bag. So we'll end the episode there, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch up with you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.